I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric equations. And thanks to all the subscribers and viewers for watching the videos and posting excellent question. Now here is a question from one of my subscribers who wants to know how to solve the trigonometric equation 2 cos square x minus 3 sin square x equals to 0 where x is between 0 to 360 degrees. Now to solve this question, I will show you two different methods. So we'll take a method where we could just rearrange and write sine and cos on the different sides of equal to and get into tan square x. Let me show you. So one method could be that you begin with 2 cos square x minus 3 sine square x equals to 0 take sine square x term to the other side so we get 2 cos square x equals to 3 sine square x now if I divide by cos square x on both these sides what do I get I get uh, 2 equals to 3 sine square x divided by cos square x and now dividing 2 by 3 we get 2 over 3 equals to sine over cos is tan right tan square x so we get tan square x equals to 2 over 3 and so we can write tan x equals to square root of 2 over 3 now both positive and negative values can work so this is one way and from here we can find what x is so x is equal to tan inverse of square root of 2 over 3 and also remember we are given this domain from 0 to 360 degrees that is to say that now we're looking into plus and minus values so let me write here uh, plus and minus also So that means we are looking into four solutions, right? So the four solutions will be kind of like this, right? So they will be, we'll find the value exactly, but there are four solutions. Is that okay? Now let's look into second method. So let me take this as method one. Now let's say method two. You could also write cos square x as sine square x, right? Or you could write sine square x as cos square x. Either way, you could actually solve this question. Since you know that uh, sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. So from here, you can rearrange and you could write cos square x equals to 1 minus sine square x. Perfect. So you could do that. So if I make that substitution, in that case, I can write my equation as what? Instead of 2 cos square x, I can write this as 2 times, instead of cos square x, I am writing this as 1 minus sine square x. And I have minus 3 sine square x equals to 0. Now, if you open the bracket, you get 2 minus 2 sine square x minus 3 sine square x equals to 0. So, that gives you 5 sine square x, right? So, it is equals to 2 minus 5 sine square x equals to 0. Or you can write this as 5 sine square x equals to 2 or sine square x equals to 2 over 5 and so we get sine x equals to plus minus square root of 2 over 5 correct and from here you get the value of x as equals to sine inverse of plus minus square root of 2 over 5. 
So you could have done like this also, which will also give you the right answer. Correct? So we can find the answers. Now, method number two is better. Now, this method is better. So I prefer this. Uh, we say this is better. Simply because it is more versatile. If I change the question, right? If I change sine square x with sine x, for example, then you cannot apply method one. So, so I'll make a note here. And the note is that this is preferred. This is simple. But this can be used always. Uh, this type of strategy note can be used always. Uh, let me give you an example. If I change the question to, let's say, 2 cos square x minus sin x equals to 0. Now, in that case, I cannot use the method 1, right? Or, if I change the equation to, let's say, 2 cos square x minus 3 sin square x equals to some value, let's say, uh, let's say 1 over 3. Now, for these examples, I will only use method 2. This cannot be applied. Do you understand? So, it is versatile. However, for that particular question, it was simpler. Few steps and you get the answer. But it's very important at this stage to learn how to apply different strategies to solve an equation, right? Now, let's find the answer. We are looking for tan inverse of square root of 2 divided by 3. And that is equal to uh, 39.23. Now, that is one answer. So, you get acute angle alpha. One answer, right? So we say alpha, the angle, acute angle is, let me round to whole numbers, right? Since it is not really specified, 39 degrees. But what you really see here is that these are the four solutions, or you should say like this, and like this, and this. Is it okay? So there are actually four solutions. So the other answer here is 180 minus 39 which is 141 so we should actually write here when you do this and take out this uh, inverse then you should write that alpha equals to 39 degrees and the value of x will be equal to 39 degrees and then 141 which is 180 minus 39 and then it is also equal to 180 plus 39 which is 219 and also 360 minus 39 so we round it to whole numbers 321 degrees so we get four different answers not just one perfect so the answers which we got are 39 degrees 180 degrees minus 39 degrees, 180 degrees plus 39 degrees, and 360 degrees minus 39 degrees. It is very important to understand that all four answers should be provided for this type of solution since we are looking for a solution in the domain of 0 to 360 degrees. I hope that point is clear. You can use your calculator and find the answer for the next one, which is sine inverse. So if I do shift sine inverse, in that case, square root of 2 divided by 5, and check the value, we again get alpha, the acute angle, as 39.2 degrees, correct? So same answer. Either method could work for you, as I said. For this particular question, it is better to use method 1, However, general method is to convert sine or cosine in one variable and then solve like a quadratic equation. Perfect. 
So I hope this concept is clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.